It's a beautiful autumn afternoon. I'm here at Picardy Place just outside Rawsonville with Chef Yaku Brunt. He's invited us into his kitchen because as we all know, a pasta dish is not complete without that perfect pasta sauce. Now Chef, I see here there's a lot of, well not even a lot, there's quite a few simple ingredients that you've got for us. I think the main secret is to keep it simple. So we're going to use um, onions and then um, garlic, chilies from the garden, herb salt, um, coarse black pepper. So we're going to use half pork mince, uh, good lean beef mince and peeled tomatoes and good red wine from the area. And then two hands of basil leaves um, also picked earlier in the garden. Is this also another recipe or trick that you learned in your classes in, in Italy? Yes, that's uh, Giovanni's recipe actually from Frenzy in Italy. Okay, and is that the reason for you using both pork and uh, lean beef mince? I think the reason is um, the flavour. So while we use um, lean beef mince to add a bit of fat as well, the pork is very good. But I think the main secret is the flavour of the pork. And a good quality olive oil, I figure. Definitely. <laughs> right, then let's get cooking. Right, so just we're going to heat it up. And begin our saucepan and then we're going to add some olive oil. Then we're going to add some onions. So we will just gently fry the onions until it becomes um, translucent and then we're going to add the chilli and the garlic. The reason you want to add your garlic a little later is you don't want it to burn because once it burns it has that bitter taste but also you want to develop that flavour. Correct. Now Yaku, adding garlic I understand but adding the chilies to a bolognese that's not something you'd normally do. That's also a companion of basil and tomato we're going to use. So, and that also that, um, I think that's a little surprise in the meal afterwards. So we're going to use half lean beef mince and half pork mince. So the secret here is a very good um, meat and fat ratio because um, also for the flavour. So I think you need a bit of that um, pork into the meat for the flavour. So in South Africa we use a lot of beef, mainly beef, but when you go to Italy they use a lot of pork in their uh, meals. So that's maybe also a bit of a secret. While the meat is browning now, we're going to use this fresh homemade herb salt from a friend of mine, but um, it's difficult to get hold of, so you can just use any type of salt. In with the tomatoes now. In summertime, you can use your own tomatoes, but we're going to use peeled tin tomatoes for now. I'm just going to break them down with my spatula, but they will cook away anyway. A lot of people, including myself, like to add a couple of different ingredients like tomato sauce and sugar, but I see you've kept it very simple. Is this something you teach in your classes? Yes, we call the course back to basics. So it's all about less ingredients, but good quality ingredients. So we don't need, we don't need all these funny stuff like carrots and whatever. So we're going to use less ingredients, but good quality stuff, and then it's all enough. In with the red wine. Because there's no sugar in the tomatoes, um, and also to balance the acidity of the tomatoes, we're going to add some red wine. I use a sweeter red wine. That's maybe a bit of a secret as well. Now, Yaku, I've been picking away at this beautiful, fresh basil from your garden. I'm assuming it's going in now. Yes, fresh herbs is always the best in the kitchen or for any dish, because you have these beautiful flavors of basil in your kitchen, and it's a good companion for your um, tomato. As simple as that, so we're going to let this simmer until all the beautiful flavors come together. 